Uh, Joel Embiid had a situation unfold this past week. We're going to try to do a little speed round out of here, but Joel Embiid uh, had a situation unfold where he pushed a journalist. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was because in a column, his brother who uh, passed away was mentioned and his son was mentioned. And uh, Joel Embiid took issue with that, yeah. um, conciting you know, everything he's done for the city of Philadelphia and how he felt disrespected, essentially. I've, I've, you know what I've told you. I feel like the process is no longer there. Yeah. I think that the situation is unfolding the way it is in Philly. And um, I think that he's closer to being gone for Philly than he is sustained, sticking around long term. Mm -hmm. We have yet to see Paul George and Joel on the court together. Um, and it's, it feels like it feels like the season is trending very similar to what we've seen in recent years with the 76ers. Competitive get to the playoffs, fall short. Mm -hmm. And who's to blame? Well, at this point, I, I personally believe that the 76ers, I, I think I said this to you last year, I think that they're in a situation where they need to move off of Joel Embiid here shortly yes. to be able to get some assets for him because um, his 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 value as a big man in the league with knee problems is only going down. Mm -hmm. It's only going down. What are your thoughts? I'm a huge fan of what you said. We should definitely have that start having that conversation. That's a conversation that isn't being had right now. What does the future look like for the 76ers without Joel Embiid? Let's have that conversation. That's the conversation I want to have. Hey, what does it look like? And I believe you can get a lot of assets, right? Tyrese Maxey is a guy I'm a huge fan of. I think that he can be a 1B on a team. I think that he's a stud. He's a guy that pushes the pace. He's a guy that really can make opposing defenses life's hell. And I think that with Joel Embiid, it just seems like the writing's on the wall at this point, right? We've seen him at his peak. We've seen him as an MVP level guy. I'm looking at, hey, if this offseason, if they don't make noise in the playoffs, I'm calling teams. As mm -hmm. the 76 organization, I see the writing could be on the wall. Joel Embiid and the 76ers fans are going at it. And if I'm Joel Embiid, respectfully, why am I going to stay? Why? Right? What else do I have to give the 76ers team? Obviously, he didn't win a championship. But if I'm Joel Embiid and this season does not go according to plan, I want to change the scenery. I mm -hmm. want out. And maybe that's me being soft. Maybe that's me saying, hey, he shouldn't have to deal with that media. I think he should, but every player has a right to do what's best for them in their future career. If they don't make noise this upcoming season, Malik, I think he should want out. And you could get a haul. You could get multiple first-round picks. I believe you can go and trade him to a team. Um, there's so many teams that would use him. So I think that he could get yeah. serious value, and I would be looking to trade him if they yeah. don't make noise in the playoffs. For sure, for sure. Yeah.